You are at Rants Incorporated, where I rant about whatever my $10 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get one of these by being one of those. This one's for BTB Wilkinson, who says, Rant about Tony is back, the hilarious fake Frosted Flakes ad campaign. And he linked to the channel where it was uh, posted. So this is just a series of three shorts and then one, like, compilation that leads to a website, which is no longer up. Uh, but it's three pretty fucking hilarious parody ads uh, where Tony the Tiger visits people just in extremely dark situations and, uh, I don't know, encourages them in the same way that he would do in old Frosted Flakes commercials. But in this case, he's encouraging a prostitute, a cop who's about to beat a woman, and a... Uh, <clears throat> oh, fuck, I don't remember what the third one was. Uh, the, suicide bomber. Yes, a suicide bomber in a restaurant. The The cop... Uh, one made me laugh by far the hardest, but, uh, the, the ending bit where it's like, Tony, uh, you know, Tony helped all these kids back in the day, and now he, they've grown up, and he's helping them out again, like, giving context to what the hell was, why these things all happened, and then linking to the website, and it feels like this was meant to be the start of, like, an ARG or something, like, because the best way to start an ARG is to have something that's extremely attention-grabbing and, like, highly produced. You know, something that will definitely have, like, articles written about it, that will definitely get spread through different channels just because it's, like, so shocking and audacious or weird, you know? And, uh, you know, it, it seems like that had to be what, where it was going or that there had to be more to it on the website because... Otherwise, this didn't go anywhere. Like, the YouTube videos are clearly building up to something, and then it's gone. And, of course, all the social media accounts and everything of it were deleted because of Kellogg's, um, you know, DMCAing it all. But I would assume if it was an ARG that this was all anticipated and that it moved beyond the surface level before that. I, on cursory searches, couldn't find any further information about it other than the information about the YouTube series. So I could be totally wrong about this. I just don't know. Uh, I don't know where it went. I don't know what happened after those initial ads. But obviously they're fun in and of themselves and uh, worth a look.